Hey, Hi, Kathy. Kathy. How you doing? Hey, how are you? Great. How are you? Well, I'm great. I'm here today with Dr. Donica Moore, who is a women's health expert and advocate, and Melody Thomas Scott, who we all know, of course, is Nikki from Young and Restless. <laughs> um, we really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us today. Um, tell us exactly, Dr. Moore, what is IC? IC stands for interstitial cystitis, which is a mouthful and that's why we shorten it. What this is, is a very painful inflammatory condition of the bladder, which can cause a whole host of symptoms. Uh, most women have some degree of pain down there, and you'll know where I'm talking about. But in addition, they have urinary frequency, urinary urgency, which means if I don't get to the restroom in one minute, I'm going to wet myself. Um, and they may also have a significant degree of pain during intercourse or immediately after intercourse. Generally, that pain is described as sharp or burning. Um, so Melody describes it, I, I love her description, as the worst bladder infection of my life. It is not an infection, but it feels mm -hmm. that painful. And Melody, you actually experienced this. Oh, yes, indeed, six and years ago. Say, you hit it very well. <laughs> well, thank you. Because I watch you every day. It's a, a personal issue, and you really don't want to tell your coworkers that your bladder is on fire. Oh. So you don't really talk about it. And um, I, I know how devastating the pain can be, and it just stops your life as you know it. The quality of your life is gone while you're suffering with IC. So fortunately, the good news is now there is an education campaign going on that I am thrilled to be a part of. There's a website called allaboutic.com that I urge every woman and doctor to go on. There's a questionnaire. There are questions to see if you recognize any symptoms you may be having or a relative or a girlfriend might be having because millions of women have suffered with IC, interstitial cystitis. I was one of them. And uh, to me, if I can just save one woman from the agony that I went through, oh. it's worth it to come out and speak about this. Well, what are the causes of this? We actually don't know what the causes are. Uh, there are many theories. Uh, the good news is that even though we don't know the causes, we do know what some of the treatment options are. Uh, certainly women should avoid uh, foods and other substances that are known to irritate the bladder. So the classic ones are alcohol, nicotine, caffeine. Uh, however, um, we also know that there are medications. There's actually one medication that's FDA approved uh, that is a prescription medication that can be taken orally called Elmeron. And this has been very effective in providing women relief. Uh, some get relief in as, as early as six weeks. Other women may take three or four months to get relief. But there is relief and there is hope. Is this something that's hereditary or... We That's don't really question. know. It's a very good question. We believe there may be genetic markers uh, that may be factors, biomarkers. Uh, some people have talked about maybe there's an autoimmune cause. Some people think that maybe you had a bladder infection in the past and this did something to the lining of the bladder. All of these questions are being researched now. But again, the good news is we do know uh, how to diagnose this problem now. We do know how to get the information to women through allaboutic.com. And we do know how to treat this problem with Elmeron. Okay, so it does only affect women? No, actually, there are men who are affected. The overwhelming majority of patients are women. Uh, so uh, to the men who may have it, ex excuse my uh, overlooking you. <laughs> um, I don't see male patients, so I'm excused from that. Uh, men do get this condition. There are also many other c causes of something called chronic pelvic pain, which is sort of the umbrella diagnosis, where there are nine million American women walking around suffering from pain that just won't quit wow. down there. Wow. Well, and it, from what I've read, it seems like Melody had a really hard yeah. time getting hers diagnosed. Yes. So the more information that you can get out about this, you know, it, it can help us all. Absolutely. Well, and unfortunately, Melody's story is fairly typical. The average woman takes about five years to get proper, properly diagnosed. Wow. Fortunately, she was diagnosed much quicker than that. And the average woman sees about five different doctors before finding a doctor who can make the diagnosis. Wow. The isolation of it is, is also devastating in that you feel like you're the only one in the world who has yeah. this. Well, I've, I've never heard of it no. until exactly. this. Which... And I'm hoping now that women will be talking about it and, and learning more about it.
very important. Well, I admire you for mm -hmm. launching this campaign to oh, help get you. the word out. And, and we admire you for talking about yes. it on your show. I think oh, that's well, a very you. important part of the solution. And um, if people didn't catch it before, that's allaboutic.com. And you can go there and you say there's a questionnaire there? Yes, there's a, question, there's a questionnaire that we actually use in medicine to make this diagnosis. It's called the Puff Questionnaire. Uh, women can fill out the questions, print it out, take it to your doctor or your health care provider, and then what your doctor will do is tally up the answers, just like those surveys we used to do in Cosmo magazine, give you a score, and if your score is more than a certain number of points, chances are you may have interstitial cystitis. Okay, well that sounds really good. Mm. Um, I appreciate you talking with me about this and, and appreciate the launching of the campaign because, uh, you know, like you say, a lot of women don't mm -hmm. want to talk about things that go on down there. And <laughs> That's true. <laughs> this is um, a way to get more information and maybe make the public more aware of it. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, yes, we'll good. get the women talking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, I appreciate you talking with us. and. Um, Melody, it's, it's good to talk to you. Thank you. And I just want to say congratulations on your 20th anniversary. Oh, thank your you. Your wedding celebration. My, my real life <laughs> wedding anniversary. Thank you. <laughs> and um, thank you. Thank and you. And good luck with Thanks your a lot, campaign. Kathy. And we'll talk to you later. Okay. Thanks, Kathy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.